Hi, this is Sam Keller, and I'm going to show you how to make a Spirit Master Unit two ways. Actually, three. There are two types of Spirit Master Units. There is the two-ply, where you have the white Master Unit, a tissue sheet right here, and the carbon paper right here. And the back of it is just blue. If you were going to make a hectograph, you would turn it over and take the, the tissue sheet out and write on the back like this so it would be face up and you could use it as a hectograph. But for a spirit duplicator, you must have it reversed in order for it to print correctly. This master cannot be used in a tattoo machine or a Thermofax machine. The other type of master is a thermal stencil, a thermal spirit master. And that is uh, tissue, uh, the master sheet, the tissue sheet right here, and the carbon on a polymer, poly plastic sheet, carbon, and a backing sheet. When you use this kind of uh, master, you remove the tissue sheet. Try doing this with one ear, but you don't need that. All you need is this and this, and you lay it out like that. If you're going to use a Thermofax machine, you have to have a copy that is done in carbon, either through a laser printer or a photocopier. If you print it off a inkjet printer, it will not come out. This happens to be an inkjet printer copy, and it will work in the tattoo machine. I will demonstrate that first for you. To operate the tattoo machine, you simply take and take the tissue out, plug the machine in and turn it on and it will beep. There it is. Open it up and turn it over so that the white sheet is on the top. The carbon is underneath facing up at the white sheet and the yellow sheet is in the front of you. You take it and you, difficult with one hand, feed it through the back of the machine in the little slot right here. Like that, you feed that through, nothing happens, just open that up and feed it through until you get it to the uh, point of the beginning, which is right about here, and when it lines up, you close the cover. Make sure everything's out. I pull this back a little bit to put some tension back on it, make it straight, and snap the cover closed. You fold that back. Your white sheet is on the top, the carbon sheet is on the bottom, with the carbon side facing the back of the white sheet. You then set your machine, it's a mirror image, and you set it for how deep you want the copy to be, how dark, if it's a light copy. This is an inkjet printer copy, so it really isn't uh, too light. But I will, um, I have it on depthness one. And you take it and you line it up in here. And it takes it. When it's lined up, you press start and it will run. This will feed through the front, as it's doing now. And the carbon will feed through the back and come out the back. You really don't need that yellow sheet for anything. Some people take it off. I tear it down a little bit because it's a nuisance. And you just feed it through with your copy, your copy face, face in towards the machine, not out. So it transfers to the master. When it's all through, it will beep and stop. Takes like 30 seconds, well worth it. 
there it is. The paper's all done, it comes out. There's the birds. You open this side and this side. Take your carbon out. If you turn it over, you'll see your image. And I'll see if I can open this with one carbon, one hand. Here. Yeah. There it is there. That's the carbon made on the machine in about 30 seconds. A Thermofax would be the same way, but you put the copy behind the carbon instead of separately in the machine and you run it through and you have several adjustments you have to make. So what I do next is remove the carbon. This just pulls off comes right off the carbon paper and you save it if you want but I throw it away in the rubbish because you don't want that purple all over everything and now you have a safe carbon master of uh, the birds Tweety Pie and uh, another bird then you will remove the top sheet with the printing on it like this. A better than that. You don't want to do that. Um, it's hard to do with one hand. Um, it is perforated right here. And you can do that. Or you can use a pair of scissors. But uh, just hang on. And I will peel it off. It does peel off. Like that. And you can use that. Now there's the bird, there's the um, a duplicator, and I'll show you how to make the other carbon in just a minute. This is an AB Dick duplicator, it takes the fluid uh, tank, you put it in, you turn it on the fluid, that presses the wick against the roller. You put at least a half an inch of paper in there. It's at a paper stop. You push this lever down when you're putting the paper in. And it tells you when to stop the paper. And then you open the clamp right here. And watch the See, it opens up right there to take the master. The tension is off right now, which is here. I like to turn the tension on at this point. And I take the pre-cut end of the stencil, the back of the stencil, master and put it in backwards. The paper is lined up at about eight and a quarter, eight and a half. So on the drum it's about the same. And you put the paper on the drum at the same rate and flip the lever. Like that. Now I just want to check this because I'm doing it one handed and I want to make sure I get it all in so it's not crooked there. There it is. Now you're not supposed to crease the uh, master. Now what I need next for this is the receiving tray for the paper copy. And that just slips right in here. I took this out because I have a room right now. I'm working on a couple of machines. The instructions for this machine are printed on here. And the paper receiving tray is adjustable for letter or legal or postcard or whatever you're using. There is a copy counter here. It fully works and you can set it to zero. So you get a rough idea of how many you're making. Okay, let me just check this. This is at nine and that's fine. This is at uh, eight and a half, so that's fine. The pressure is turned up. The, the, this is in. We push the button here to drop the paper, and we start to turn the crank. We'll see what we get. We're getting wonderful copies. Wonderful copies. You can even take this copy and run it through the trend, uh, tattoo printer, and you will get an excellent copy as well. Now that's a pretty good copy compared to the original. You know, the original is in black, this is in purple, I have uh, green, and I have red carbon paper. 
Now another way, if you don't have a thermal fax machine, but you do have a inkjet printer, I'll show you a way you can cheat and make a copy without having to uh, you go through a lot of tracing. You can just draw it. Do not do this with the thermal paper. You can only do this with a regular carbon paper. You open up your paper receiving tray. You turn this over. Matter of fact, I'm going to take the tissue out because if that gets caught there, the machine is, goes crazy. Put that in your paper receiving tray. Face down. The machine is turned on. You open it up. You can take your birds. This is um, instructions for a uh, how to make a stencil, which I printed. But we'll take the image of the bird right here, and we put it in our printer the way we normally line it up. This one goes to the back. Close it down. Push copy. Uh, it doesn't have to be too dark. But that's all you do is you do that and you set it up for a regular print. Push black. And just wait one second. The drawer opens. I did this by mistake with a thermal copy sheet and it got all jammed. So don't do that. But you can take a regular carbon paper like this. And now you have your master unit. Your purple mask unit, I took the tissue out because it does not make an impression. The only thing you can use that will make an impression on a master like this is a dot matrix printer. And there's nothing on the back. You would have to take and take a pencil and trace all this. So if you had a drawing that you like and you wanted three, four, five hundred copies, you use this kind of a master. If you want 50 to 100 copies, you use this kind of a master. But if you want more than that, you can simply make another master. This was a, called a long run master, and it will last for many years. I do want to show you, I've made a lot of different kinds. There's Betty Boop. Uh, you can put words, prayers, and I even printed the instructions. I made a copy of that blue cardboard on the back of the master unit book for instructions and I printed where did I put them? I printed the instructions somewhere right here. I made about 30 or 40 copies of Master Unit Instructions. Just as clear as a bell. Nice and purple. You can use different colored papers and uh, make multicolored Christmas cards or holiday cards. And uh, the, le the writing is all legible. It's all legible. Tells you how to do a uh, type on or draw spirit master. And it gives you instructions for a thermal spirit master. Now normally if you draw on, you have to have your copy. And you would take your copy of the bird. Where is he? He's under here. And you would put your copy on top of the master. And tape it in place. And trace it and hope you didn't miss anything because you can't see what you've done by printing directly on the master by the way they used to sell these in schools in workbooks they call it kiss where they put the printing or the form on the master unit but it does not come through you fill it in and draw what you need to and uh, 
that's easy. It gets to the smallest detail, even a little branch. And I have done hundreds of these. I mean hundreds of these. I have a whole book of masses that I've used uh, and drawn. And some I've thermofaxed. These are some I've drawn. I've got them off the web, the internet. Here's a thermal, and I'm sure in here, here's one. This is a, the long run, and I copied it on the machine very lightly. I used just very little ink. I didn't make it as dark as this, just so I had the outline. Because when you use a pencil, if you use a colored pencil or a pen to trace it, you can see where you've been, and on the back, it made a carbon. So it made the carbon, and I've got 500 runs. Um, you can make address books, you know, name, address, so forth. I made a calendar, uh, a forever calendar, using antique pictures and uh, just a blank calendar, and you fill in the numbers for the days of the week, and you can write the month in here. And you've got it made. You've got a calendar. Uh, here's another image I've made. Got that off the uh, internet. The uh, Walt Disney uh, Snow White, I think that is. And you turn it over and it made a... This is the, the carbon side because there's the writing. This is the, the printed side. And this is the carbon side. See, when you, you don't have to have all these lines and all this, it kind of blotched up over here, but it does not come out on the carbon. Uh, but there are hundreds and hundreds of stencils and masters you can make of, of school books. I use hectograph books, uh, used for hectograph printing. And uh, nobody uses hectograph anymore. So it's a regular straightforward print. I make a master unit out of it on a Thermofax or tattoo machine and I copy it. In the book, this is uh, something from the 40s. And it's nice and clear. And the boy from the 40s was a little cat. Uh, these are all books that are Old King Cole is a Merry Old Soul. And those, uh, these are uh, lyrics that the kids don't know. This is uh, Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. These are drawings by wonderful artists that you'll never see again. Because they use uh, computer illustrated things.